Hello, this is James from Plexum. Today we're going to talk about the Plex RT Box. The Plex RT Box is a state of the art, real time simulator developed and sold by Plexum. It integrates seamlessly with the Plex tool chain, enabling both controller hardware in the loop testing and rapid control prototyping. The process starts with a model designed in Plex. The Plex coder then translates the model into real-time capable C code specifically targeted to run on the RT box. In this video, we will provide a quick demonstration of the typical design workflow and show how an offline Plex model can run online in seconds. This versatile platform uses a system-on-chip processing unit that combines CPU cores with an FPGA. The RT box supports 16 analog input, 16 analog output, 32 digital input, and 32 digital output channels to interface to a variety of hardware systems. When used as a hardware in the loop platform, the box is capable of sampling PWM signals at rates higher than 100 megahertz. Additionally, four high-speed interconnects at the back of the unit allow for linking multiple boxes for larger system modeling or I.O. expansion. Here we have a model of a neutral point clamp three-phase inverter for a solar application developed in Plex standalone. In addition to the typical components for the power circuit, there are blocks included from the new RT-Box block library that allow a simple association between signals in Plex and input and output pins of the RT-Box. We will soon want to connect the laptop to the box so a physical link is made via Ethernet cable. In this case, we have a Texas Instruments MCU, which is the red control board, serving as the actual controller outside of the RT box. The green board is one of several breakout boards we provide to interface to common digital controllers or separately that contain general connectors for external signal monitoring. The microcontroller itself is running the embedded algorithms for supervisory control, grid phase and frequency detection, current regulation, and neutral point balancing. The controller provides modulation signals at a rate of 10 kHz to the virtual switches in the Plex model and the emulated voltage and current signals are fed back as analog measurements to the controller. With a license of the Plex coder installed, we can access the coder menu. The Plex coder options window is your cockpit to choose a few general settings, define your target, and generate the code. I will now build code for this Plex model and upload it onto the RT box within a matter of seconds. The model is now running. So let's turn on the external mode to visualize waveforms from the real-time system in the Plex scope. The Plex model then becomes a test harness to interact with the online model and allows on-the-fly parameter tuning of both the controller and plant. First, let's flip a switch on the interface board to enable the power stage. We can now observe currents flowing from the inverter to the grid. A second switch changes the current set point in the controller to increase the grid current from 50 amps to 100 amps. Finally, I will make a change to the virtual power stage by reducing the sun insulation level 25% to simulate a partial shading condition at the PV panel. Notice the immediate change in the waveforms we are feeding back from the emulated plant. As you have seen, with a few additional steps, an offline model can be converted to an online simulation. Our tool chain, including Plex, Processor in the Loop, the Plex Coder, and now the RT Box provides a one-stop solution to go from initial conceptual design of a new power converter to validation and verification of its control system. Thanks for watching.